Um, and I am uh, moderating the panel with a uh, wonderful gentleman that you all know um, and love, or else you wouldn't be here. Um, I would like to introduce you to Kristen Mayer. Yeah, 
and it's Sylvanas Windrunner. Uh, who plays here? Any show of hands? There you go. So few. <laughs> 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 it varies so much with how they come. Sometimes it goes to the room. Um, but yeah, is it a new expansion? Have you played the new expansion yet? Yeah. How good is it? I'm so impressed. I really, really rather, much as I love Baltimore, I'd rather be at home in Belfast and locked in my room with like a, <laughs> like a jar of pee in and then never leave. <laughs> that's the kind of kick I am. I, I, I'm a real computer game nerd, so uh, that's when I'm at my happiest. Um, and love your tweet about changing hotel rooms. So that you can be closer to a that is the spot. Worst, the worst thing ever. Next <laughs> week, my hotel is so. <laughs> You know, obviously, a lot of you play um, Pokemon Go. Yes. You get that circle thing around you. There's a Pokemon stuff like one millimeter <laughs> away from my room, and I, it's so frustrating. <laughs> that, that to me is the definition of first world problems. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I just, I just want to throw a lure down, and <laughs> that's a bad idea. I would never leave the room. <laughs> I, I own a comic book shop, and we have a Pokemon stuff there, so it's amazing. Like, uh, every three minutes, you know, we're, we're getting our stuff. I live in the countryside in Ireland, and obviously there's no, apart from wild ones, there's no poker stops near my house. <laughs> so I have literally, I have driven to the nearest town at 2 a.m. in the morning. I have sat in, in the middle of the town in my car. I have the place of, <laughs> so what are you doing? And I'm catching Pokemon. <laughs> you just shake your head and walk up. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> So, talk a little bit about your, your DJing. Um, you did it did that before, yeah. and you still do it, you have the, the Raven Throne. You, you DJ with the Scissor Sisters? Uh, no, that's, I, I actually went on tour with them. I, mean, I played in a band. Okay. So, the band that I played in, we, we went on tour with Scissor Sisters. I love them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah they, if you don't know, it's, it's the, any Doctor Who fans? Okay, well, that was a master where he's saying, I'm not going to sing it, but I can't decide whether I can decide whether you should look for a guy. That one? Yeah. That was Scissor Sisters. I don't know what song that was. I don't know what song that was. I just sorry. It's a great song. It was in Doctor Who. Anyway, um, so tell us a little bit about your your DJing because it's like you're all over. Yeah. Right now. I mean. <laughs> I, I, I spend so little time at home, um, and it's crazy. Um, I love it. Um, I, I get to go to all far flung places and um, places I never dreamed I would get to go to. Um, I've been in so many states in America, I didn't know they existed. <laughs> um, I've been in places from, from Anchorage to Biloxi, from like, one minute I'm in San Francisco, the next minute I'm in Shreveport. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they're all just as amazing. I've met so many cool people. I, I, I love America, um, and I, I just love the energy of people here. Um, and that's one of the best things, actually. People are so different the whole world over, um, and getting to see the different types of crowds and the different music they like, and um, just making a different connection with the different people over the world. That, that's one of the best parts of the job. Um, I absolutely love it, but it's very tiring. It's very tiring. But after after I do this show. Um, I'm not going to get home for, I think I'm not home until the 15th of December. What? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. But a lot it's going to be Christmas, it's terrifying. But a lot of Pokemon stuff. A lot of Pokemon stuff, I'm going to have all the Pokemon by then. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, you mentioned that you have a lot of Pokemon stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, you've played in so many different places. Yeah. Um, what was it like, I mean, after, after that episode, the, the fan outpouring was, I mean, absolutely Amazing. I mean, just things that you know we would see online about you know, people like sending me gifts and, and yeah. thank you for being a gentleman. And you know, I, it was crazy. I mean, I think it was within within 15, 20 minutes, I had 67,000 tweets. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, you know, but when I read the script, um, I actually heard from another cast member before. It was, we all do this. We all do the same thing. People joke about it, but it's actually true. We, we read through the script and I was like, have I made it this year? Have I made it to the end of the season? And I remember um, Finn Jones, who plays Night of Flowers, who also did the big one, obviously, this year. Um, 
I said to him, so, <laughs> did I make it? And he's like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought he was joking, uh, but he said, you, you're going to really like it, it's really cool. Um, and I read it, and I just thought, oh my god, people are going to completely freak out. Um, to me, it was just that, uh, from the very first minute you meet Hodor, and even in, in the book so many years ago, George has known that. Uh, George completely foreshadowed that for years. And he's a genius, and that's the only way I can put it. It's just incredible foreshadowing. Uh, the first time we meet Hodor in the books and in the show, he's, he bursts through the door, um, and at the end he's holding the door shut, and his name means WTF. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> actually, I'm of George Martin. Um, he's incredible. He's an evil genius. He is an evil genius. And that is an evil Ewok. Um, <laughs> he looks kind of like an Ewok. Like, he does. Yeah, but he's, he's such a great guy. Uh, if you ever get a chance to meet him, which I believe some of you have, um, he, he's an incredibly, incredibly intelligent guy. He has that spark of, of murder in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody's afraid to, 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 to tweet, you know, I love this character because he's. Yeah. Yeah. Gary is really going to be a goner. He's like, oh, they love them, huh? <laughs> so, um, you had all these tweets, you had all this, this outpouring, but I mean, yeah. what, what was that? I can't even imagine that feeling of just how much like, love and, and came your way for this. I mean, the character was, was, he was the most pure character in the show. Yeah. I mean, which actually is a hard one to do on that show. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but he was so pure and he was so lovable and, and just, and you, you're an amazing actor because to, to, to do what you did with just, you know, one word, mm -hmm. but to get so much emotion across, it was, it was amazing. Just well, thank amazing. you. I don't want to um, see it that way, but thank you. Do you guys see it that way? Yeah. <laughs> it can be difficult. I mean, it's all, it can be difficult and it can be easy. You know, I, I'm not going to lie about it. I'm, I'm not too large in the VA. Um, Wait, there, what? There are, oh, I'm out here. <laughs> there are scenes where it's difficult well, when you have to convey very subtle emotions, but like sitting by the fireside to get the rabbits and just hold them. That's not hard. That's not, really not hard. Um, but it, it just depends on the scene and also depends on the director. Um, some of the directors are incredibly um, precise about how they wanted me to say it. Uh, most, most agreed with me. Most would agree how I did it was the right way. Um, but Michelle McLaren, who was a producer on Brave and Bad, she's absolutely incredible to work with. And she, she knew exactly what she wanted. And as a director, that's what I like that. I, I like a director. I, I don't like working with a director who is just lets you do what you want in front of the camera. And you never know if you give them the right thing. Uh, I prefer a director who goes, no, screw you, do it differently. Um, I, I prefer that because you know you're doing the right job. And I remember one day she said to me, um, can you do it a little less happy and a little more joyfully? And I was like, it's the same. And I said, no, 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 it's not the same, it's a bit more, but that's it, it's a bit more what? Tell me that <laughs> you can do it. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very precise. Um, but yeah, uh, sometimes it was hard and sometimes it was easy. But I wasn't prepared for that corn. Um, it was all different types of people. Um, you have like the, the frat boy bros and all like, you dude, I've never cried at a TV show. Or I haven't cried since like my childhood squirrel pet died or something. <laughs> squirrel? Who <Yes. laughs> had captain of dog, but I went for squirrel. <laughs> Um, yeah, all that kind of thing. And only recently I was on a flight, I can't remember where I was, and a, a woman who took great um, pains to lay across about four seats, just to look me square in the face and go, I cried for three days. I just, I just walked off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm alright, I'm still here. <laughs> But it, it really was amazing. Um, oh, thank you. If, if you want to ask questions, you can start lining up over here to the microphone. There's uh, self-assessing. 
Um, so, but but uh, seriously, I'm born to me that people like me cookies and cakes. <laughs> I mean, everywhere yeah. you went. Every hotel, every hotel I stayed in, there was like a, a piece of food, like in the shape of a door. Um, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was clean. Yeah, yeah. It was usually a chocolate cake, and that You're was like, absolutely <laughs> fine. <laughs> absolutely fine. And the hotel, I was, I was actually with a Warcraft movie premiere with Isaac that night, um, the, the night after it happened. And we were in the W Hotel in London, and we got into the lift, and no one knew we were there. And on the hold the door button, there was stickers in my face. Everywhere. I don't know if beautiful is the right word. It was definitely uh, something. <laughs> <laughs> well, did, did your character make that much of an impact? On yeah, but, I mean, it's not bad for one word. It's not bad for one word. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Hi, good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Did you have a question? Yes. Um, uh, on, uh, on the set, uh, I have two questions. Uh, on the set, did the cast ever give you any shit about always remembering your lines? Uh, did the cast ever give you any shit about always remembering your lines? Well, they're all jealous. <laughs> they're all like, who loves you, man? Let me say one word. <laughs> Uh, Sorry. <laughs> uh, second question, please. And it's probably a wasted question. You may not be able to answer it. No um, thing the universe is question. Thank you. Uh, is the is the, the character going to turn into a zombie, or is that's it going to be like? That's, that's, that's the next question. Next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I actually didn't know you were going to be here today, so I was super ecstatic to see you and. Huge Sorry, fan. I'm, I'm, I'm just so happy to meet you. you know. She, she didn't know you were going to be here, and she's very happy. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> um, so you said you auditioned for Hot Fuzz. Yeah. Um, obviously, very different genre. Yeah. Do you, would you prefer comedy, or do you like the darker tones of Game of Thrones? Darker comedy? I mean, I'm, I'm a big fantasy geek. Um, so Game what? Of Thrones. <laughs> Game of Thrones really was my target market. I, I just, I, I hadn't heard of it before I did the audition. Um, I actually did, after I did that around the video kit, um, I went home and told my mother, um, I just read for this part in Game of Thrones. And she just looked at me and she was like, Game of Thrones? I said, yes. Yeah. She had read the books. She's a huge book reader. And she was like, who's the character? And I was like, uh, it's called Hodor, it only says one bloody word. And um, she's like, oh my god, you're so perfect for that. <laughs> and, uh, that. That was our dinner, that was our dinner conversation for the next five years. <laughs> and that was why I never had to read the books, because my mom completely spoiled it for me. <laughs> and what was the question? <laughs> oh, I prefer, yeah, I mean, I, I, I would love to continue in this genre. Um, although I do like comedy as well, um, I would love to do some comedy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes. Uh, what's your main character on Game of Thrones? What's my name? What's your name? What's the main character you play? The Wolf. Oh. I would work out. At the moment, I'm playing Blood Elf Hunter. Um, I'm playing a base mastery hunter. But I have two wild points. Um, with I think it's I have 26. Level 100. I've got as a, a European account and an American account that's full of level 100s, uh, which is really, I'm so embarrassed. Uh, I've put so much time into that game. Um, have you played? Have you played the expansion? Huh? What? What the character? Legion. Have you played Legion? Uh, I'm you play the anime, Naruto. Okay. Well, I, I genuinely think it's the best thing I've done. Long, long time, so we should all play it. <laughs> you basically sign away your life, but you should definitely play it. Uh, all right. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm playing Hey, do bloopers? Bloopers, crack a little joke? I'm sorry, what? Hey, you do like bloopers on at the screen? TV bloopers? Doing bloopers? Bloopers. 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 Oh, bloopers. Um, well, I was pretty good at getting the lines right. <laughs> So, um, I did hit Isaac's head off the tree, 
one day, um, which apparently the character knows in the books quite a lot. He would, he would like, bash Isaac or Grant's head off the, off the walls of Winterfell. But uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've fallen down hills, I've, I've slid down grassy banks. Uh, the the nude scene was just one big blooper. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it's just, there's such a strict time deadline in Game of Thrones, and it is pretty serious, serious business. But there's always funny stuff happening. There's always funny stuff. It's really good fun. It's like, it's like working with your family. Is that a bad thing or good thing? Thank you. Thank you, sir. But now, there were there new things in Game of Thrones? <laughs> sometimes. Like, sometimes, yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, actually, quick question. I want to ask you, how long have you known Scott Johnson and Terp Sir? Um, from how long have you known Scott? Scott Johnson from Frog Pants. Johnson? And Terp Sir hold the door. Oh, Scott Johnson from Yeah. The, yeah. Um, I think since like season one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Scott's a great guy. Uh, I love Scott. Um, we've been trying to get another podcast together for probably three years now. <laughs> And we're trying to put it together. So it's the instance of it, the instance of it. Yeah, um, yeah, I would say before long, we'll get another one together. Okay. But I love Scott, he's one of my favorite people. Yeah, he's a good guy. Second yeah. question I have is, I'm with you, I'm Legion, so that's expansion there. One of the ones that makes one take your life savings and just starve to death in your room playing the game forever. So, how are you dealing uh, with the Legion release, like being busy till December? Can you, can you, can yeah, you, the microphone's really yeah, the microphone's I will be very close. How are you dealing with the Legion release since you're so busy until December? Uh, How are you dealing with the Legion being released, but you're busy until December? Are you playing the hotels that you go? Oh, yeah. Um, it's, it's really hard to hear. I love it. It's not like a barrier here. I what's going on. It's, it's a fourth stage. It's like a big Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've, I've got a weird selection of laptops, uh, and I mean, when I'm going away for a weekend, I'm, I'm happy to leave the game on laptop at home, but as I say, I'm definitely going to be bringing it on the road, because there's no way I can wait to December. Um, but the only thing is, I've got all these sort of peripherals I, I bring with me, I've got like a, a keyboard to the left hand, or a Weaver, it's, it's like a gaming keyboard, it's really geeky, um, and a gaming mice, and probably, uh, like uh, anti-friction mouse mask and stuff. It's really embarrassing. Um, but yeah, I, I, I definitely, there's nothing more annoying when you get to a hotel and the Wi-Fi is bad. I think you can't get online. Yeah. But usually, yeah, I'll be able to keep up in hotels. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. It's not easy, you're tech savvy. Tech savvy, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll go for that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's just can you kind of talk slow and then yeah, yeah. Okay. Not easy. It's it's a huge echo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm Team Targaryen. What team are you? Don't be faithful to the Starks. You don't have to be faithful to the Starks. So you mean what house would I represent? Or? What team? Yes. What family? I'm sorry. It has to be Stark. Has to be Stark. You're gonna be Team Stark. I'm gonna speak for him now. It has to be Stark. <laughs> I mean, I, I want the Starks to have, the ones here are left at least, um, to have a terrible revenge. I, I want, like, Sansa to turn into, like, um, you know, that person from Frozen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, like, freeze everybody. And, I, I just, uh, Sansa's actually rapidly becoming my favorite character. I think she's becoming extremely strong and um, a little bit twisted. I kind of like that. That's the type of person I go for, a friend. <laughs> Strong and twisted. Alright, cool. You answered my question. Thank you. Hello. 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 Uh, first, I'd just like to say thank you. Uh, you are actually the first celebrity I've ever talked to, so I'm going to be putting this on my bucket list and crossing it off the meeting. That's all the time held for my answer. <laughs> Uh, just two questions. Uh, one, what was it like working with Isaac Wright? Oh, Isaac's like my little brother. Um, the first day I met Isaac, um, we just instantly bonded. Instantly. Um, 
with an infinitely long sleep program in my iPhone. <laughs> um, I mean, not even just a little bit, it was smart. <laughs> and so we, I had Harry Potter spells up at the time. It was, it was off the time. Um, and he was like, we have my phone around and do a like, spell the arm or something. And I had this case on my phone and it was flying like 100 feet into the air and smashed into the wind. And that was basically, that set the tone for our friendship. <laughs> Uh, like if I if I was any time off from filming, he was like he, he just on top of me. He, he, he uses me like a sofa. Um, <laughs> and like he'll eat his lunch, and I'll be covered in crumbs. Um, and he spills drink, he spills drink over me. And he's like, why, why am I why am I here? <laughs> why am I not getting paid after the child mind me? <laughs> but um, I still does it. Well, he's coming 18 years old this year, and um, when he sees me, he reverts into childhood. Which I love. I love. Um, I, I, I absolutely love him to death. So, um, it's very cool. I just had one more question. Um, yeah. Did you ever get tired of running him around everywhere? Yes. <laughs> I, I would I have said that after the first day. I was tired. Um, I, I didn't expect. I mean, my first day on Game of Thrones was my first day as a professional actor, and uh, I, didn't, I didn't know how many takes there was going to be. I was like, yeah, I'll do it maybe three or four times, and we'll be done. Like, 70 times later, um, of carrying him up and down the room. <laughs> what are you trying to do, guys? Uh, and yeah, I have horrific back issues because of, well, not really, I'm going to really have to it's not just because of that, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to play a magic for it. Well, hopefully you're back, yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. I'm a big fan of Game of Thrones, and uh, I was very, very devastated at your, uh, you know, that episode. Very, uh, very, you know, you hit the buckets, to so to say. <laughs> so, I kind of have like two questions. So, among the Game of Thrones, you pretty much familiar about characters. Which one's your favorite? Which, which, what's my favorite? Which one's your favorite character among all of them? Um, it changes so much, uh, but I guess overall, um, there's two, two really strong. I really like Captain Stark. Um, I love Michelle Ferry's interpretation of her. Um, I love Brienne of Tark. Um, Question, that would be my choice for the for the throne. I'd love to be Brienne on the on the throne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. That'd be really awesome. Thank you. Hey, welcome. Hello, Hodor. Hello. Hello. Um, I only have three short answers. Um, is Hodor dead? Is will he return? Or and he's going to kill him for Sam three. So, right. First of all, is Hodor dead? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Number two. Mm -hmm. what, what was the second? Oh, uh, will he return? Uh, next question, uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, okay, know fine. Who's going to kill him? Is he like one of the White Walkers, you know, like minions? <laughs> this, this, this question is not being answered. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> or comes. <laughs> I, I, just, I just have to be on the news here because. I can't say I have, I can't say I'm not. Uh, it's just, yeah, yes and no. <laughs> I can't say I can't say a word. It, it, there's going to be another season or two, mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah. So just keep watching. Yeah. I was going to say you'll find out soon, but I think it's not going to be soon. It's not soon. Not soon. Thanks. Thank you. Good work. Hello. That's all there is to say. <laughs> On uh, Pokemon Go, are you Team Valor, Mystic, or Instinct? Oh, um, Valiant. Thank you. I'm Mystic. Oh. Uh. <laughs> well, who is my favorite color? You know, I did my first, my first, uh, there's not many gems around me, um, obviously because I'm in the country, um, so I did a game at 3 a.m. in the morning, like, some weird sex pest. I was sitting in my local time with the window rolled down. 
doing weird things with the phone. I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to fight the, the, the Pokemon. <laughs> I was just sitting there and getting my ass kicked. I go, what's happening? I didn't realize you had to practically tap. But yeah, okay, that was, that was very interesting. Go ahead. <laughs> Hi. Um, how much time did you actually have to like carry Isaac? And oh, as he got older, did it get more difficult to carry him around? Yeah, I mean, in the first season it was all me. Um, second season it was, it was the same. Third season, fourth season, fifth season we were off, and Isaac had a year's growth. Um, so they kind of figured, yeah, that that's go. That they're going to give me a bit of a break. Um, so we had to double the door, believe it or not. And we had a double Isaac. Um, the double Isaac was like a, um, a five foot eight girl. <laughs> and um, the double um, Booger was like a, is a wrestler um, who lives in Northern Ireland as well. So for wide shots, like from uh, the cameras miles away, that probably would have been the double just to give us a rest. Because uh, it's, it's really intense. Because like, the scene is also like, even when we had him in the, the travel one, you know, we had to have that sort of sledge. Um, <laughs> like it's not real snow you're pulling through, it's just it's false snow, so there's no, there's no sort of slippery surface. You're actually pulling through rocks. Oh God. So you have like the weight of that and the weight of him on that. And it's, it's just horrific. But, you know, um, I'm glad I did it. Uh, it looks good. Uh, it definitely worked. Uh, I was very glad to see they had a double load work. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I was wondering, do you have any other projects, uh, movies or TV shows or anything? Yeah, I can't say very much as you do as a stock answer, but yeah, it's super busy between right up to like summer next year. Um, there's all sorts of um, advertising campaigns, video games, some voice work. Um, there's a TV show hopefully coming up, a Netflix show. Um, there's another TV show coming up. There's um, a movie still after Christmas, um, and hopefully another movie before Christmas as well. And somehow I'm touring the world at the same time. Uh, I'm, I'm exhausted just listening. To that. <laughs> <laughs> I've also just moved house and bought a house, and I, my poor mother is sitting at home with a bunch of all these boxes, <laughs> and we haven't had time to unpack. So um, it's all fun and games, but yeah, just keep an eye out. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll be tweeting about it and sort of talking about it on social media as, as soon as I can. And uh, one other thing, do you have a favorite superhero, favorite comic, or anything? In Thor. 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 Yeah. Um, not necessarily the captain of Thor, but I thought you did a good job. Um, I, I, I've read Thor comics since I was uh, probably four or five years old. And I've even got a Thor tattoo up there. So yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And Hodor was absolutely able to pick up that camera. Yeah, he took it, but you know, this is a terrible story. Um, I was quite an innocent <laughs> Not anymore. Um, couldn't be less innocent now. But um, I got really into my roots and stuff. Like, all the symbols, the Germanic symbols and stuff when I was a kid. And I remember I used to draw the symbols in Thor on my all my textbooks in school, and it's swastika. <laughs> I just didn't get the reference. I, I, I people used to look at my books and go, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I, I just didn't get that it was um, controversial. But I do know. I, I, I understand. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hi. I will say I am too cheap to pay for things like HBO, so I saw the first two seasons of Game of Thrones. Yes, it's great, but that's all I've seen. Um, my question for you, you said that you started out in music as a DJ. What kind of music do you DJ? Um, I play house, house music. Like reggae and stuff? No. No? No, I mean, the, the, the night of Game of Thrones is so misleading. Um, it wasn't my video. Um, <laughs> It, uh, it's not really real music, <laughs> it's, it's, it's house music, it's, it's progressive music, um, sort of tech house music, and uh, yeah, I don't really play like Game of Thrones music either. <laughs> so, I mean, the, the Thrones part is really the audience interaction, um, a lot of people dress up, um, we sometimes put on a stage show, um, and we'll have like props built on stage, 
Um, but yeah, it's house music. It's always been house music. Um, when I first started DJing, trance was really in as well, so I would play a little bit of trance. But um, it's always been about house. You said that Game of Thrones was your first professional acting career. Did you just happen to get lucky, or did you spend years trying to get into the business? No. And if you were trying to get into it and get lucky, what's the best way no. to get around it? I, um, best way to get this, I um, always had a foot in, in sort of acting and performing. Um, I studied it when I was in college. Um, I did like performance arts, and, but I always preferred music. Um, and I, I definitely went down that path. But I always would perform as well. Um, I did a sort of live theatre show, um, and that's how I had an agent, and he would book me gigs for that. And you know, and that's one that's one piece of advice I always give people. Um, people always say, "Hold on to your dreams," uh, which I totally agree with. I never give up on your dreams, but I think sometimes you hold on to them too tight, and I think dreams can evolve. Because I always wanted to be a guitar player. That's how I started. I, I spent years locked in my room. I, I'm a really good guitar player, um, basically. Um, and that's what I wanted to do. That somehow changed into being a musical performer. And somehow changed into being a DJ. And somehow changed into being an actor. And I still can say the dream came true. It still feels the same. Just let it evolve naturally. Um, so yeah, that's a piece of advice I always give people. Don't, so don't be afraid to let it change. Awesome, thank you. Good. Hey, uh, you started off kind of uh, making fun of yourself or saying that uh, you were just sitting there skinning a rabbit, just saying one word. But um, over the course of the time that you worked on Game of Thrones, did you surprise yourself how much emotion you could get out of just ordering? Well, you see, it's not ordering, that's the thing. It's, it's, it's different in the books. Um, it's, it's, it's more body language in the show because um, it's, it's obviously you sort of picture how he, he says it in your head when you read it. Um, but really, it's just a word in the show. Um, there's only a couple of variations in how I said it. There's like, I said it loudly, softly, happily, sadly. But when you combine that with body language and facial expression, um, then it, it, it can be thousands of things. It can be thousands of different things. Oh, well, there is somewhere, I really hope they never find it. There's a sign forward of me saying it like 75 different ways. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it sounds all the same. Hey, how's it going? Uh, um, I'm from uh, South Dakota, and I don't know how to say this, like to blame you or blame myself. <laughs> I'll, um, take it, I'll take it, Well. I'm, I'm full blood Native American, um, Oglala Sioux, and um, back home in South Dakota, everybody has satellites. Uh, we didn't have HBO at my mom's house, so I got her into Game of Thrones, and this, whenever your character died, I mean, the whole family was there watching it and everything, and I guess this is sort of a request. Um, my mom, I called her after, the, after it happened, because I live here in Maryland, and she threw it up coffee pot in, in, in the kitchen and she said um, she said hold or die why didn't you tell me about this and I said I did I just seen it too <laughs> she said um is he dead then or is is he gonna come back or what's the deal but see I, I, you don't have to answer that but <clears throat> she can you tell her Can you tell her like that, that this is not real or something? I want to like I want to put you where she's no, like, closer. <laughs> What's your mom's name? Mary. What? Mary. Mary. I'm, I'm, I'm alive. <laughs> I, I, 
healthy way to get rid of this. Um, I'm alive and well. Um, I'm sorry you threw your coffee pot. <laughs> What happened to your character? In hindsight, would you approach your method acting differently throughout the course of the series? I think that's why it's important not to know too much in advance. Um, I think it can affect it. Um, I think if I'd known, I probably would have played things slightly differently. I'm, I'm glad I don't know. I'm, I'm glad I don't know because Hodor is an innocent character, and you know it's good to play him with a sense of innocence to everything. Um, I know a lot of actors who in Game of Thrones who purposely didn't read the books because they were afraid of if they knew too much about the character that they would, they would play it differently. So, yeah, I, I guess if I did know, I might have played it differently. I'm super proud that I didn't. Thank you. And you're welcome. with all of his activities that are coming up that we can talk about. <laughs> yes. Yet, yet. Um, and let's give him a big round of applause. For Thank you, Thank you for coming to